Hey friends, today I am at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. We're coming here to have a little dinner at Trotteria El Ferno, maybe indulge in some alcoholic beverages and definitely catch a sunset. Let's go do this. In my opinion, one of the most classiest resorts I've ever been in. I love it here. The late 19th century boardwalk decor and theming is just such a unique looking theme. I absolutely love it. And it's just like kind of childish, but in old timey fashion way, I think it's fantastic. From the art displayed right here in the front entrance to the doormats, they're just so nifty looking. And the amazing carousel that just randomly turns on sometimes to the flying horses up here. It is so spectacular. And it reminds me a lot of Knobles. Knobles theme park actually in Elysburg, Pennsylvania has probably one of the world's largest carousel museums. And I just like it. Another really cool fact about the boardwalk, these pictures up here with the gold plating around them, they're actually pictures of the Disney Parks castles and they're all different. So like that one's Cinderella's castle, this one is Sleeping Beauties. I'll probably have to zoom in to show you, but it is so cool. This one right here is Disney World Cinderella's castle. And then behind us we have Hong Kong's Sleeping Beauty Castle. Right there, that's the Hong Kong one. And then right there, the original Sleeping Beauty Castle from Disneyland. It is definitely the little things that amaze me. Like those castle paintings, I think that is so awesome. In fact, castle or not, all of the paintings at the Boardwalk Resort are just amazing. Right next to the lobby, they have the Bellevue Lounge right here, which is basically like an old timey living room, but an, a bar. And they have old radio stations actually playing throughout the whole entire time. So you get to like hear awesome vintage like news broadcast. I like that a lot. What's actually even creepier is the fact that this is closed, but they're still playing the news broadcastings. Now let's go back to the house and finish this off. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of the Boardwalk Resort, but sometimes people that start watching the videos have never been here. So I'd like to just show off a little bit of detail so that maybe it'll encourage them to come out and check it out. Cause this is a fantastic place to just come and check out. It is also one of the coolest free things to do in Disney because it costs nothing to actually come walk around the boardwalk itself. You can easily just take a bus from Disney Springs and literally have a boardwalk date night. Before we actually head to get some dinner, I do want to get myself an adult beverage and check out the merchandise actually in the gift shop. That sun is so bright. It's beautiful though. It's blinding though. It is blinding, but take a look at all of the beautifulness of the boardwalk. And luckily, the Abracadabra bar has its door open, so I don't know if we can just stop in and grab ourselves a drink or it's reservation only, but we're going to see. Curious concoctions and enchanting elixirs here at the Magician's Lounge. You can actually just walk in. They actually serve food like bar snacks and charcuteries and all of the tables are marked for social distancing. Normally I just stick to my good old beer but when you come to these fancy lounges and they have such extensive handcrafted cocktails with really nifty names, you gotta indulge a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I like the music in here too. And that's so I think I'm going to go with the Conjurita. Also, all the names of these are pretty cool. The Sour Assistant, Magic Hatton, Who Done It's Punch. Very cool. So it's not a far store. 
Yeah. But wait, there's more. To say the magic word, which is Abracadabra. Okay. This is your magic wand. Magic wand? Yeah. So gotcha. you stir your corn burrito. Stir it? Yep. With your magic wand, you use your magic word. Abracadabra. Yeah. Holy moly. <laughs> I had no idea all that fanciness was gonna happen. And I actually shut the camera off and she's like, but wait, there's more. And I was blown away. Did you see that? It changed colors. Such a really cool looking drink. Ooh, it's delicious too. I feel like atmosphere has everything to do with the bar. And this place is just so cool. I like the floor too, it reminds me of Spaceship Earth. And the conjurita can definitely get you feeling loosey-goosey. And right next door is actually where we're going to have dinner. And I'm hoping that I can actually get an outdoor table. So therefore, I can watch the sunset on the boardwalk. Wouldn't that be amazing? We do have a little time before our reservation. So we're just going to walk around and explore a little bit. And definitely check out the merchandise. I noticed that all the boardwalk snack stands are actually closed, including the margarita, Joe's, and the boardwalk to go. This place has some of the coolest food, honestly, and it's cheap. French fries are delicious, corn dogs. If you compare Disneyland's corn dogs to Disney World's corn dogs, these are not the same as Disney World. These are better. So like these are like the best corn dogs in Disney. And overall, it seems like there's still quite a few people here the resort is opened up just for uh disney vacation club i believe but wow i'm sure a lot of visitors though because like i said you can just take a bus right over here it's very hard to park here you need a reservation sad to see that one of my favorite ice cream spots is actually not open yet ample hills creamery this place has amazing ice cream and they're opening a disney springs location hopefully soon i know they're having financial issues but let's just take a second and appreciate this that is beautiful the birds flying in the sky oh my lord this is why i love florida Okay, change of plans. What I'm going to try to do is check in early and then actually see if I can catch the sunset and then check out the other side of the boardwalk once I'm done. And right here we are. How nice. They said I could check in early and that the outdoor seating was open. Most people probably just want to sit inside, but like I said, I'm here for the views and the pasta. Another thing that I absolutely love about this restaurant is they actually have an open kitchen so you can see the chefs preparing your food. Isn't that the coolest? Nothing like watching your food prepared. You have different stations like this is the pizza station, saute, very cool. And then expo, I love it. And right outside, what a beautiful view. That's what I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> This is so awesome. This is exactly what I pictured when I said I was gonna sit outside, eat dinner, and watch the sunset. Oh, this is great. I am like, I'm so happy right now, actually. I am so happy. What a perfect time. I'm so happy I wanted to see if I can check in early or else we probably would have been missing this view. I would have been down at the merchandise location and uh, I would have been so upset, but now I'm here. And like most of all the Disney World Resort restaurants, we're using a digital menu. And they have tons of stuff here. They have steak, they have pizza, and they have mushroom ravioli. But I think I'm going to go with the classic chicken parm. Breaded chicken breast with Romano provolone, fresh pasta, and sundae gravy. The only thing is I don't like provolone. So uh, I'm probably going to have no provolone and just order it the way it is like that. Very cool stuff right here. I also may get a Italian beer. They probably have a Moretti or a Rosa. I'm not sure, they don't have the beers listed on there, but one of those will do, they'll do. And they actually had one of my favorite Italian beers, the Metabria uh, Bionda. 
I really love that beer, so I decided to go with that one instead. I placed my order, I'm all ready, now I'm just gonna get my beer, and I'm gonna relax and enjoy. Right there, that's the good stuff. Oh man, that's a good beer. I really hope that came out as beautiful as I thought it would. I really love and enjoying my experience right now. And the food has just arrived. I wanna to try to get some shots of the food because it's getting very dark out, but look at those. Little bit of garlic bread. Oh man, that looks amazing. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat all that, but it's pretty darn nifty looking. And then of course, the main course, oh, that pasta, that's fresh pasta. I am so excited. I'm just gonna dive right in here, guys. The first thing I wanna try are these bread bites. I'm gonna dip them in a little bit of Sunday gravy. They look, these look like amazing. Oh no, guys, it's getting really dark out. So I'm gonna try to get to this as soon as possible. This pasta though, oh, can you just see it? Can you see the realness in this pasta? I can see it. And here we go. I've been waiting for this for a while because I really love the pasta here. It is just so good. Oh, I love it. Hands down, my favorite pasta I've ever actually had on Disney property. Now, the chicken, I've had probably better chicken, but the pasta is just, it, it's just, it's what does it for me. It does. And the beer. I'm sorry to say, but that whole entire meal didn't stand a chance. Well, that was absolutely amazing. Just the overall experience to sit down on the boardwalk, watch the sunset, eat some amazing pasta, drink some great Italian beer. You can't go wrong with that. And plus, the service was fantastic. If you come here, ask for Holly. I was very impressed that she actually took the time to go and read my name off the reservation to come and greet me and say, hello, Mr. Morrow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, on my Disney Experience app, my name is Nathan Morrow. You know, paging Mr. Morrow, but she actually went and looked it up. That's amazing. And now we'll make our way actually down to the other side of the boardwalk. There's not much to show. I already know that the Atlantic Dance Hall is not open, nor Jelly Rolls, but I still just want to take a look to see. Maybe Big Rivers is open. That's not on the My Disney's Experience app, so it wouldn't pop up for a reservation, even if it was. They're watching Toy Story for movies under the stars. Mom, mom, mom. It looks like it is open, but only from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So, that's it, folks. <laughs> Big River is definitely closed because the lights are shut off. And from this like side down, it's basically an abandoned boardwalk. Kind of awesome. And with that, I think I am done here today. I absolutely enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.